What is going on guys? So it seems like all my videos are going to just continue to re revolve around the 5.4 liter Ford engine. Uh, that's alright, but I've got a lot of questions from this video that people are asking, well how do I know if I have the 2 valve, how do I know if I have the 3 valve? So I'm going to do a quick rundown on uh, the applications of the 2 valve, the 3 valve, and even the 4 valve. Now. This is not 100%. There are variations in all of these things, but this is going to be just a good overview of how to tell the difference and how to know if you have a two-valve or a three-valve 5.4 engine. Let's get into it. So when we talk about the two-valve 5.4 this is just an overview of when you open the hood, this is what you see. It says Triton 5.4 liter. That's what you're going to see. Now, this engine is going to be found in the 97 through 2003 F-150. So, when we talk about that body style. We jump over here. Um, this is going to be 97, 98. What you'll see when you look at the body, it's the same body style, but... The easiest indication is this front bumper. You kind of see the shape of it, big metal front bumper. That is going to be a 97 and a 98. Now, if we jump over here, this is going to be 99 through 2003. We can see how the bumper in the front is different. Now, you have some with fog lights like this, and then you have others um, like this one that don't have the fog lights. Once again, 97 through 2003 in the F-150. Now, there was, in 2004, an F-150 Heritage. Now, it looks identical to the 99 through 2003 F-150s. There wasn't very many of those, but they do exist, and they do have the two-valve 5.4 engine. Uh, next thing we're going to talk about is Expedition. All the same things carry over um, to the Expedition that started, the 542 valve started in 1997, but it actually went all the way to 2004 in the Expedition, and that's in, in all of them. Then we talk about the E Series vans. So, the 2-valve 5.4 was actually had its longest run in the E-Series van. It ran from 1997 all the way up to 2017. So that is the longest run of the 2-valve 5.4 in any of the platforms. So it's in a lot of these vans. And then finally, we're talking about the Super Duty. So 1997 through 2005, um, they had a 5.4 two-valve option in the Super Duty. Now, there was also the diesel option as well as a V10, but you will find some of these trucks with that two-valve 5.4 engine. And finally, an honorable mention is 98 and 99 Lincoln Navigators also had this engine, but not a whole lot of those on there, so we're not going to cover it here. Now, when we talk about the three-valve 5.4, of course, this is the one that had all the issues with the variable valve timing. Um, in 2007, they had thrust washer issues. Um, there's just a lot of things going on with the three-valve 5.4. Now, they kind of had two um, different designs when you just open the hood and, and look at the engine bay itself. Now, uh, both of them actually call it out. So if we look right here, we have, it says Triton 5.4, three valve. So of course that's the easiest indication to know that you've got the three valve. Uh, if we look here a little bit earlier, we had the same thing. It actually called right up here on the air filter cover, 5.4, three valve, Triton. Same engine, they just had some different air box designs. Uh, so these engines 
came in the F-150 from 2004 all the way up through 2010. So that's going to be this body style here. It's the newer body style uh, with the, you know, the more squared versus the 97 through 2003. Same thing here, this is a, an older version of it. So this would this one here would be a 2004. So this was the first year that that three valve launched in the F-150. This is actually a 2010. So that is the last year that the three valve 5.4 was offered in the F-150. Now the three valve 5.4 was also offered in the 2005 through 2014 expedition. So here we've got the 2005 body style changed a little bit. Here you've got the 2014. That three valve was offered in all of those as well. And then finally the Super Duty. 2006 through 2010 the Super Duty um, did have an option to have that three valve 5.4 engine. So the first time we actually see a four valve 5.4 liter is in the 2000 Cobra R Mustang. Now, of course, these were extremely limited production. If you look under the hood of that thing, that's what you that's what you see. You're probably not going to run into one of these unless you've got a lot of money. So, next uh, we saw that four valve or a four valve. A dual overhead cam 5.4 in the 99 through 2004 Lincoln Navigator. Look under the hood of that, all you see is plastic. You can't even see the engine, but those did have the four valve 5.4 in them. Next, we have the 2005 2006 Ford GT. Look under the mid engine of that. You see the uh, big supercharger on top. Now this is the same motor that has actually went in the 2007 through 2012 GT500s as well. Now there are a lot of different variations of that four valve 5.4 motor. I mean, even when we talk about the GT500, you know, they had an iron block, they went to an aluminum block. Uh, some made a little more power. There are some variations in them, but just as a brief overview, those were the applications that a 5.4 four-valve engine went into. So, if you're still not sure by the year, by looking under the hood, by running your VIN, if somehow you still don't know if you have the two-valve or the three-valve, you can pull a coil on that engine. And you'll see this one here is for the two valve. Comes up, kind of has that, that angle with an elbow here. If we look at a coil from a three valve engine, it's completely straight. So if all else fails, that is a way that you could tell if you have the two valve or the three valve engine based on the ignition coil. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If I missed anything, if there's anything you guys know of different ways to tell or something I missed, drop it down in the comments below so everybody else can, uh, we can all learn this stuff together. I'll see you guys next time.